A game of cat and mouse is being played out in the airspace close to the United Kingdom between RAF fighter aircraft and a relic of the dark days of the Cold War. For several years now, the Russian Air Force has returned to its Cold War practice of flying its large, long-range nuclear bombers very close to British airspace, ostensibly for routine reconnaissance, but clearly also to test Britain's air defences and how long it takes fighters to intercept them. The bomber type is a stalwart of Soviet and now Russian service, the Tupolev Tu-95, known in the West as the Bear. The Bear bomber first flew in 1952. It is the only propeller-driven strategic bomber in service today, and the variants currently used were all built in the 1980s and 90s. Capable of carrying nuclear and conventional ordnance, the Russians have about 60 in service today. With a crew of six to seven men, it includes a tail gunner to operate the 23mm cannons. The British government has repeatedly labelled these incursions by bear bombers annoying and a nuisance. And they are also a danger to commercial air traffic as they refuse to identify themselves. It came as a surprise to the British when the bears started turning up again off Scotland, East Anglia and Cornwall from 2005 onwards, after an absence of over a decade since the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991. The Russians had no money to fund such long-range missions, but under President Putin all that has changed. And it's not just bears that are lurking around the British coast, the Russians also send the Tupolev Tu-160 Blackjack jet bomber into UK airspace. This supersonic variable sweep-wing strategic bomber has been in service since 1981. Around 16 are currently serving with the Russian Air Force, with more on order. A sort of new Cold War has developed, with the Bears' missions increasing sharply in number during the crises in the Ukraine, for example. In 2015, the Russian ambassador to London was summoned to the British Foreign Office to explain why two Bear bombers flew down the English Channel in plain view of the south coast. For senior RAF officers, it's just like the bad old days all over again. The Russian Air Force, like its Soviet predecessor, is telling Britain that they are still a force in being, and they are still looking for weaknesses in our defences. So what are our defences like? And how do we counter the bears in the UK? British airspace is defended by what is called the Quick Reaction Alert. The rogue aircraft close to or entering UK airspace are identified by the Control and Reporting Centre at RAF Bulmer or RAF Scampton. They will then scramble Typhoon fighters from RAF Lossiemouth, the northeast coast of Scotland, to investigate. The second quick reaction alert station is RAF Coningsby in Lincolnshire on England's east coast. Typhoons are then directed onto their targets and make the interception. In order to keep the fighters airborne to monitor the threat for an extensive period of time, the Voyager air-to-air -air refuelling tanker is put on standby at RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire. A pair of typhoons will then escort the intruder, be it bear, blackjack or anything else airborne, north out of British airspace. If push comes to shove, RAF pilots are authorised to issue the following threat to any aircraft that refuses to be escorted out of British airspace. Quote, I am instructed by Her Majesty's Government of the United Kingdom to warn you that if you do not respond immediately to my orders, you will be shot down. Unquote. So far, no bears or blackjacks have tested the resolve of Britain to carry out that threat. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also support my channel at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.